So now a young lady is going viral on TikTok after putting a local Atlanta makeup artist on blast. Now, according to this young lady, she scheduled this makeup artist for her wedding. And a night before the wedding, she actually canceled to do JT's makeup. Hey, y'all. I wanted to come on here and tell y'all the story about how my makeup artist canceled on me the night before my wedding at 922 to do JT's makeup. So I originally met her July 5th and we did a bridal child makeup. She did a really, really good job. I'll show y'all. It was pretty much exactly what I was looking for. I wanted like a very princessy, light look, light makeup, bright eyes, perfect. She did have this rule. She said that we can't book her makeup until three months before the event. So then I messaged her like, on the 27th of that month because it was like three months away from the wedding September 27th so this was August 1st I messaged her actually correction but it was still you know I had months out so again this is my message then she responds back and I said okay what do you exactly want me to email you she tells me and I email her no response so then August 6th she goes hey babe I saw your email I'm going to open up my site. Thanks. August 7. Good morning. Just let me know when I can open it so I can book you. August 15th. Hey, babe. I should have known she was playing games. I should have known. I should have known. Then I messaged her again. Can I book? She said, hey, babe. Calling you right. I called her on the phone. Can I I'm going to call you right back. We're still on for your make wedding makeup. Okay, thank you. September 2nd. Hello. The wedding's in 24 days. Um, are you able to do my makeup or not? Because at this point, I DM'd her, I called her, messaged her. But she did so perfect on my makeup. I really want her to do it. She said, hey, babe, this is 27. I can do it. So she explains all of this. She's waiting on confirmation from another client. I don't know why when, you know, I had reserved three months ago. Like, talked to her, had the trial, been trying to book. But, okay. And at this time, we talked on the phone. I'm like, you're going to be there. She's like, I am. I'm so sorry. Like, and I'm a Christian. We talked about Christ and all this other stuff. And I was just like, okay, you know what? She's been finicky, but it's okay. It's okay. She said we're good. So my wedding was, again, September 27th. Hurricane Helene came. And it was raining that morning, but it should have been clear that afternoon. So we had talked on the phone that morning. I called her. She said, she's good. We're good for today. And then she texts me this later on. Hey, the weather is look like it's worsening. Let me know if anything changes. I go, hey, thanks for the concern. But we said, they said, because they gave us an option. They said, okay, you can keep it for the 27th or you can move it to the 28th. But a lot of my family came in town from out of state. So I said, we're just going to keep it on the 27th. The weather looks good. Why? So that was this morning. Why at 9.22 p.m.? Hey, I'm sorry, JT just booked me for New York tomorrow. I'm on a call with her, so I have to go. I'm looking for a makeup artist for you right now. I go, girl, ain't no way. You knew you had my wedding. I'm so confused. I know you just not canceling the night before my wedding. Why well, go on Instagram? She's already with JT. She was already gone out the state. So the makeup artist did respond. Now she was caught off guard by all the hate that she was getting after canceling the night before this girl's wedding. You guys, I'm going viral on TikTok and it's crazy being publicly humiliated. But when you're in Christ, um, I don't look to social media in the world for acceptance, mercy, grace, come passion like I look to God for it so for everybody that's trying to humiliate me make me feel small I serve the God that created the world I serve the God that created the world and so even in my mistakes God forgives even in my mistakes God has grace and mercy he's sovereign but y'all don't know that because y'all don't know God so I hope y'all take this time to find him and I'm praying for you guys. Just like I prayed for the girl, she was crying. I'm going to pray for y'all. Because even in my apology, even if it's never enough, the world hates you. Because people who don't even know me are in my inbox. Y'all don't know me. But guess what? The Bible says, touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed. God will exalt you above your enemies. He will use your enemies as a footstool. So am I worried? No, me, I already talked to God about this because I want to represent God's kingdom. Professionally, I do. I want to be a good steward with my business, you know, because I want to represent him well. And in this moment, I fell short. 
And I have fallen short many times in representing my business unto God. But he's doing the work in me. And so we're going to move on from this. And that's fine. But it's just crazy how the world will tear you down. Nobody has emailed me to tell me how proud they are of me, of, of how many good things I've done. But one thing that you see, you don't even know me. You re you ready to tear me to shreds? That shows what your heart looks like. But this is why you can't put your faith in the world. The world hates you. The world is here to destroy you, to give you a lack of faith. All of this stuff tear you apart. Publicly humiliate you. They don't even know you. They ain't never even like thing like the picture or post nothing. But here to tear you to stress. But guess what? I never look to y'all for validation to tell me who I am. God tells me who I am. God redeems me. He's a res restoration God. So I don't need you. Okay, I don't need you. I need Jesus. And that's who I have. And I hope that you can have him too. Because the unforgiveness that you have in your heart for somebody that didn't hurt you is insane. The fact that y'all are willing to speak for this woman. And have hate in your heart for me. For somebody else just shows that you already had it in your heart. I'm just in your path. There's no way you could be that mad at somebody that didn't hurt you. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. And I'm going to give my life to God again. I honor him every day. I'm going to honor God. And where will you be on the next post trying to tear somebody to shreds who's getting canceled? You cannot open a door that God closed and you can't close the door that God opened. Don't you understand that? It's never about the makeup. It's never been about the makeup. I can go in any field and excel because I have God who created the earth. So if you really think that this is going to do anything in my life, it's going to exalt me. Okay? You're giving me publicity. You're giving me attention. But I don't need it from y'all, though. I just need God's grace and mercy. I just need to know that God still loves me. And God is going to help me with wherever I fall short in my business. So the enemy is the God of this world. Like, right? So... You know, this is what he wants me to feel from this, which is um, shame, guilt, you know, like I'm not good enough, like I'm like all of these things. He wants me to internalize all of these negative feelings that people are projecting onto me. And I almost got into that space. And then I was reminded, like, wait, <laughs> The world has no mercy, but God does. The world has no compassion, but God does. The world has no forgiveness, but God does. Unlimited, unlimited. So I can fall short and know that God still has his hand on me. God is still working in my life. I don't have to shame, feel the shame that y'all want me to internalize. The enemy wants me to go to sleep and get up crying. I'm not. I can shut this off and be fine. I need to spend more time with God anyways. I've been on social media way too much. Like, this is great. I'm going to take a great break. Bills are paid. So y'all, like, you're not hurting anything for anything. I'm making my business more exclusive. And I'm about to charge more. And I'm about to only have um, the same clients. I'm not going to have, like, new clients. I'm not going to accept new people. And I'm just going to run my business, like, the way it should be ran. And do it unto God because God has got an order. He ain't got a chaos. He's got a rest. He ain't got of like working in vain and just stressing yourself and working and working and working. So everything falls apart because, you know, I just have so much stuff going on. And sometimes I overwork myself to pay bills because I'm like, well, how am I going to do it? But that's not faith. God wants me to rest. And so I'm arresting him and I'm going to turn this off. And y'all can argue with yourselves. Love you. No, for real, y'all. I wish y'all could feel this. Like, if you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, like, when you go through things like this, it is going to make you crumble. But the power of God is on my life. Like, the peace of God is on my life. Like, <laughs> like for real. <laughs> because the Bible says that God will give you peace that surpasses all understanding. And so I can have joy and laugh right now because it's just so funny that everything is happening. But before, I would be depressed, y'all. I'd be depressed. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to say. But the Bible says that vengeance is not ours. It's God's. 
so I don't have nothing in my heart against this girl that's trying to tear me down. I'm praying for her that God would soften her heart and help her to forgive me and just enjoy her marriage because it's such a sensitive time inviting such dark energy onto somebody who's a child of God and that you know is a child of God because you experienced like you had an encounter, you know, and I just hope that sh this energy doesn't spill over into her marriage because the blessing was that you found somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But don't dwell on the dark. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on what didn't go right. Like dwell on what is going right. Like you got, you got a husband, you married. There's so much to be grateful for. You know, you found love. And so I pray that she just gets to rest in that and not this. Another thing this has taught me is just like you, you can't put your, don't, don't waste your energy trying to get back at somebody that is a child of God. I'm telling you, like, just trust that God is going to work things out. Don't be trying to get vengeance because that's going to mess you up. Trying to take life into your own hands, trying to take the power. It's never going to be enough for you. It's never going to be enough for you. And you're never going to get the vengeance that you really want. You really just want to feel peace. You want to feel peace and you could feel that if you depend on God to feel that. But if you depend on God to feel like you got justice, this ain't it. This ain't God. This ain't God. So watch like the things that you do. You can't speak over. You can't speak like this. You can't do this stuff to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, daughter of a king. I'm not just 